tape for this main event matchup in the lightweight division for the WBC Youth World Championship. Seven years different in age. And again, five pound weight difference, 10 and 0, nine KOs for H2O, but a man that's never been stopped in Esteban Falcao in this main event. H2O only go out there, shoot right down the middle, but keep his head out. Just like the previous fight, if he leaves his head out there, it's, you know, it's susceptible to getting hit with something. Yeah, he told us in fighting meetings, he said he has a bad habit of standing up too tall, leaving his head up there. So he's aware of that, and he's trying to make adjustments. That's the sign of a good young fighter. Dan, you talked about the body work of H2O. He starts it off right away, double jab to the body to start the fight. Yeah, his last fight, 44% uh, of his body, uh, excuse me, 44% of his landed punches were to the body in his career. It's about 40%, which is a really good ratio. And that's very difficult for a guy who's fast to counter him. It takes a lot. And now Falcao looking to turn the tide and get on the front foot here and put H2O on the back foot. And he'll, he'll do that. I mean, this is the, what I saw when I was watching today. He's got some nice moments nice right, right there. Body he'll there fight on his front foot. You know, he'll fight off his back foot. He'll, he'll change up his stances, good, Falcao. Good counter. I think Falcao is just trying to... to oh, that's oh, a nice right hand from H2O good. there. Straight. And you can hear it, too, very loudly. A nice short right hand once again from Falcao, but he pays for it with a lead hook from Silva on the return. So now when Falco goes in and he's on his front foot and he's he's firing up some shots, now he has to worry about counter shots coming his way. Another wrinkle of H2O Silva's offensive arsenal. Right hand to the body there from Silva. A couple of right hands have snuck through here, though, from Falcao in this round. But, you know, you see a lot of the guys from, from different countries, you know, they, they have this opportunity. And, oh, huge right hand from H2O Silva. It's almost like a, a Venus flytrap to a degree. It looks really <laughs> nice, man. You're seeing all this head movement, and then all of a sudden, he snaps out a shot like that. See, but a lot of that is being set up because of those body punches that he's throwing. Yep. Jab to the body, straight to the body. And what happens is Falcao tends to look into that, and then the right hand comes in. It's almost like he's working backwards. Like he's throwing the body shots to set up his power. Neat hook. H2O once again. Again, just snapping out some of these shots. The volume has turned down here in round five, but it's been quality over quantity for H2O. Falco just can't let his hands go. He's in range. He's letting his hands go a little bit here. He's not landed anything. I'm, I'm really impressed with his body uh, head movement right now. You know, again, he's showing a lot of the things. Now he needs to do is counter every single time he make a miss. This is what you call an incredible night of boxing. Absolutely. We have been blessed to see all the action. And again, here in the main event, we're getting some. And look at that. Right hand from H2O. And Falcao says, hold this on the way out. Yeah, I was just checking Twitter in between rounds. Going back to that Julian Smith oh. fight. Julian Smith was a plus 1480 underdog. In My that God. That's, that's going to be the biggest upset of the year. <laughs> yes. And it came right here on MVP. Believable. You don't get it anywhere else but most valuable prospects. And a double lead hand there from Falcao. Right hand. H2O goes to the body behind it. Right hand to the body as well. And he's still uppercut more inside. Power. Yeah, more power in this, in this round. Gets his head out of the way of that left hand from H2O. I'll say this, Dan, he's offering something to H2O he hasn't seen in his pro career yet. Yes, that's what it's all about. This is, you know, MVP, most valuable prospects. H2O Silva is still a Left prospect. hand and a right hand downstairs, right hand upstairs from Falcao. Yeah, he's giving him a, a new look, Wade. And, and these are the types of fights that you have to endure. You have to find a way Ooh. to win. Chopping Big left hand. Falcao, this has been his best round of the fight, no doubt about it. Box and hit and move. Hit. Oh, that was a short straight. right hand right there from H2O. And might be some wobbly legs here from Falcao. Oh, yeah, this is a, a hurt fighter. And H2O still thinks he's going to have to take advantage here. That was a big shot. It's for the bell. It's for the bell. Well, I was about to get Falco this round. Oh, another right hand. I was about to get Falco that round. Because I thought for, for two minutes of it, he was having some success. But a nice flurry there at the end. Reach to still find that power late. As we get into these last two rounds, championship rounds, Dan, 
from Falcao. Again, you do so much good work in round eight, and then you end off the round with that flurry as he lands a big right hand Three there. Three shots. See, this is what I was talking about. This is what about. he needs, though, huh? Four. Four. Yeah, definitely. This, but this is what I'm talking about, about um, H2O leaving his head right in the yep. middle, you know? That's why I was so impressed earlier, because he was moving his head. But now he's going back into his old habits of just keeping it there to counter. And at times, when somebody's throwing at the same time, it will land. Yeah, he landed about four or five good shots, Falcao, there. See, this is where he needs to feint, jab, just, just exactly what he's doing. Come up with the Libra, come up with the straight, make it tricky. And Falcao cannot fall for it. He just needs to press and press and press. Jab to the body lands, and then both fighters miss. Last 30 seconds here, round nine. That's, that's all that Falcao needs to do, is just press. Make it tough, make it rough. That was a big left. Oh, that was Short another left hand from Falcao. All right, I think I found my round for Falco. Yeah, you did? Maybe. <laughs> Last few seconds here, round number nine. Oh, Falcao definitely has his round. 10 9 round for Falcao. But that's exactly what I'm saying, what he needs to do. Well, Falcao needs to go out there and go for broke. He needs it. He needs a knockout to win this fight. You know, Self needs to just be smart, counter if he wants. Short right hand there from Ashton Silva. Yeah, like that Silva in the 10th round is coming out throwing just as heavy as he was in, in the first round. He's up nine. Right hand one. again and her Falcao. There it is. Going that for was the a kill. big shot. Silva looking to close the show here in round 10. And you got to love this from H2O. He's up nine, eight rounds, and he's still looking for the knockout. That's beautiful. Like I said earlier, throw the jab to the body and straight to the head. That will land, and he did. <laughs> that was a big right hand. Falcao looks to be okay on his feet right here. Got a little blood coming from the nose. And another right hand gets through, though. You know what's beautiful right now is when he punches, when H2O punches, he shifts so that he's not in front of him. He's right on the side at an angle shot. And look at that defense turns his head with the shot as it returns. So again, minimizing any damage really that comes from that counter shot. Oh, that was a big one though for Falcao. And another one. I'll tell you what, if you want to know anything that you're seeing here that's a little different from H2O, you know he's got a chin? Yeah. He's been hit with some big shots, and it, it doesn't even phase him, it looks like. See, when he's moving his head like that, it's very difficult for your opponent to, to, land, to, clean. to, to land clean or to even engage yeah. because your head is not there. Silva looking to pick his spot here in round 10. Open this round with a bang, looking to close it the same way. And again, that feint is, it, oh, that was a good straight. Short right hand again. Oh, he hurt his shoulder. H2O. Did you see that? Yeah. It looked like there was a little bit of hesitation right after that shot. He it's hurt his shoulder. Yeah, it's the left shoulder. Oh, he just did throw a left right there, but. Oh, was it? I thought, okay. A little poker face from H2O Silve. But again, big shots here in this round. Not looking to take his foot off the gas at all, no. despite being up eight rounds. You love to see that in a young fighter. Yeah, he, he's up huge, and he's looking for the knockout. That's something you, you gotta love in a, in a young Friday. He wants the win in style. Ooh. Nice right hand he's got. 2-1-2. Two, two. And that's the gun. Falcao may be hurt. Never he's coming after him. He goes down. down. H2O still when he looks over Four. and he says, finally. Five. Get that Six. big knockdown. Oh, One and shot. Is he gonna get up? Esteban Falco has two. never been One, stopped two. in his career. 15 pro One, fights. Second Can second 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 H2O left. stop in 15 seconds? Short right hand. So close. So close. <laughs> and there's the end of the fight. You want to talk about leaving it all in the ring. H2O Silve, despite the fact that it was complete and other domination, decides in the 10th round, why don't I just go knock him down as well? <laughs> wow. He came out in that round, you know, guns blazing. Came out throwing heavy punches up really big on the cards. Got the knockdown, didn't get the knockout, but still a very, very good performance. H2O Silve, a performance that he's going to build on and learn from. Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the decision, let's give both fighters a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Caribou, Royale, after 10 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. 
Judges Eric Larson and Tina Griffin sees it 99-90. Judge Efren LeBron sees it 189, all for the winner by unanimous decision victory. And the new WBC Youth World Champion from Long Beach, California, ladies and gentlemen, Ashton H2O.